Yes, uh, the scene here in Westminster has calmed down now. For the last hour and a half or so, Just Stop Oil protesters have been lining Whitehall from Westminster Station down there to my left to up to Downing Street and the Cenotaph to my right. It's not clear that these protesters were actually targeting the Cenotaph. They were near the Cenotaph, but it sounds as though what was going on, speaking to police here, was that the, the, the protesters were lining the road and for their own safety they were moved to pedestrian areas by the police and one of those areas was the area surrounding the cenotaph which is blocked off from the road that said of course they were very near the cenotaph and there will be people who feel that that even that proximity to the war memorial is a sign of disrespect i just want to stress what an enormous operation this has been for the police in the time that i've been here i've been standing here for about an hour and i've seen about 50 protesters being carried away by police it takes four police men or women uh, per protester because they have to be lifted up they're, they're, they're lying on the floor like a dead weight being lifted up one by one taken into a van and being transported away this is an absolutely phenomenal police operation and it just shows it's a, it's a taster if you like for what we might see this armistice weekend when, when Palestinian uh, free Palestine protesters will be lining the streets of London while uh, remembrance weekend events take place it is a really really big task for the Met Police and we've heard about their resourcing difficulties in recent months it's difficult to know how Sir Mark Rowley the Met Commissioner will manage the whole affair yeah there's likely to be more uh, police Olivia than, than we're seeing today and um, what the protesters or the organisers are saying will happen on Saturday is that they won't actually go anywhere near the Cenotaph and the march will take place uh, a few hours after 11am. Yeah, and it could well be the case. Uh, these marches on uh, the, the weekends, which we've seen already for two weekends running, they are uh, c contained in very specific areas by law, and if protesters stray out of those areas, the police can arrest them. So far, that has been successful. The risk on Saturday, of course, I've been reporting on these protests, and they tend to begin earlier than it says on the tin and end later. Um, and, of course, the preparation for the... Uh, remembrance events takes quite a long time too so managing the two even if they're supposed to be in slightly different areas of London at slightly different times it's going to be really really difficult indeed as you say there will be a lot more police there than there are here today but you can see I mean it is breaking up behind me now but when I was first here I mean we had hundreds of Met Police officers on the street to deal with probably about 100 Just Stop Oil protesters because each protester takes a lot of police resource um, in, in terms of, of what could happen on Saturday, I mean, uh, Boris Johnson talking to GB News has said the people taking part in these marches, uh, it's obscene, he says. Um, and yet, the, and there's a lot of political pressure, isn't there, on the Home Secretary to try and ban the march on Saturday. But that call has to come from the Metropolitan Police first, doesn't it? Well, absolutely. So it's a really interesting tension that's going on at the moment. Rishi Sunak has written to the uh, Met Police Commissioner, Mark Rowley, to remind him, and I think we can interpret that as a little bit of pressure, that he does have the right to call off the protest, to ban the protest, if there are staffing issues, if he isn't able to resource the policing of it. Now, at the moment, Mark Rowley is saying that uh, the, the protest will go ahead. He hasn't indicated that they'll be banned. And he's saying that every resource, every legal measure at his disposal will be deployed to make sure that uh, these marches don't stray into obscene, as Boris Johnson put it, or, or disrespectful, and to make sure that they stay away from the Cenotaph. Whether that's going to happen, whether Mark Rowley in the coming days will back down and actually call off the protest because of resourcing issues remains to be seen. But as you say, there is certainly some tension at the moment between the Prime Minister and the Home Secretary on the one side, who have said that they think the, the march going ahead would be uh, hugely disrespectful to Mark Rowley on the other hand who doesn't seem to be uh, anywhere near the point of, of actually banning the protest. Now we've seen these tensions between the Home Secretary and the Metropolitan Police before. The Home Secretary said that anyone chanting anti-Semitic chants should be arrested. She asked the Metropolitan Police to clamp down on those anti-Semitic chants in previous uh, protests and uh, when it actually came to it the Metropolitan Police allowed chants from the river to the sea to be charged.
chanted uh, on these protests, which of course many British Jews believe is an anti-Semitic call, a call for an end to the state of Israel. It sounds as though that didn't go too well, down too well with Suella Bradman, although she didn't openly criticise the Met Police. But it'll be really interesting to see how these tensions play out in the coming days and in the coming weeks, really, if these protests continue. Yeah, indeed. Olivia, thanks very much indeed.